All right, guys, so the plan is simple today. Um, take off, land at the lakes, go fishing. So I think I posted this fail in an, another video, but I tried this before and it didn't work out so well. <laughs> so, oh no, my fishing pole broke. Oh no. It's dangling and it's making me fucking nervous. See this? The bale came loose and the line's unraveling. Not worth it for YouTube, bust my shit. But I got a new fishing pole today, so let's get it set up and uh, see if we can make it work this time. And that ought to do it. So here's the setup, guys. Got the reel on this side. It's attached, Velcro here, can't go anywhere. And it's also kind of in the net, so it gives a little more support. Over to this side, also Velcroed on. I mean, it is rock solid. It's not gonna fall off. It can't slide off because the um, eyelid's here. What happened last time, if you guys saw, this came loose. So I double checked that this time. I don't think it should come loose again, but I'll be keeping an eye on it. And uh, let's go fishing, fly fishing. <laughs> up to date on the past videos I've tried to do this um, once before and then another time I went I could have done it just didn't have my fishing gear with me but um, there's these lakes out here that are owned by a real estate company and I see people back there fishing all the time uh, and it's like far away from people so there's nobody usually back there or no houses around there rather Just southwest of the field at about a thousand feet. We'll look for the helicopter for quick All right, so I just heard helicopter. I didn't hear his altitude, but he said southwest, and I'm headed southwest. And he's inbound for a low pass down runway five, which is the runway directly behind me, so I have got my eyes open. I'm just not seeing him at all. And the issue with the helicopter is that I don't want to get, I don't even want to fly in his path, you know what I mean? They, they leave a nasty wake behind them. Got the name uh, Sky Blender. Man, I should be, he should be right in front of me. Spider webs. I can see spider webs, but I can't see the helicopter. Man, I don't see him anywhere. That's scary. <laughs> That's really spooky. Really banking on that big sky theory, you guys. Oh, no way! I see him and it's a Shinook. <laughs> That's awesome! Oh, that's so cool! I'm gonna talk to him. I want to see if he'll talk to me back. Berkeley County, ultralight powered paraglider. We are southwest of the field. We have the helicopter in sight. Traffic is still back to Berkeley County. That's cool. I'm talking to a Chinook. <laughs> that's too cool. If I would have waited two more seconds on the ground, man, I could have seen this. God, I hope my phone's getting this. Share in the air with a Boeing Chinook, you guys. How freaking cool is that? Yeah, definitely don't want to be anywhere near that guy. All right, that's cool. I've shared the air with some cool aircraft, you guys. Add that one to the list. Went strong enough to make it pretty bumpy down low. But I'll tell you something. After flying in the mountains with the Paradigm team, doing the, our aerobatic show, which was not all that many aerobatics that day because it was so windy and bumpy. After doing that, um, my bump tolerance has gotten quite a bit higher. All right, guys, this is it. This is where we want to be. And I am going to do a quick circle, check out the LZ, look for puddles, rocks, things like that. And if we're all clear, I'm going to bring it in. Oh, yeah, we're looking good. Happy with that. Oh, let's bring it in. <laughs> okay. Step one. 
Oh, shoot. <laughs> I see people. They're probably wondering what the hell I'm doing. All right. My fishing pole undone here. By the way, these things are like cable management, like Velcro ties for like computer cables, but they are awesome for uh, attaching things to your paramotor. These work great. We're going to get this strung up and we'll go. All right, guys, that should do it. All set up with the number four maps. And uh, only goal, catch a fish. All right, guys, just landed out here. My super secret lake spot. Brought my fishing pole with me. Do a little fly fishing. Another thing I gotta be worried about here is alligators. Oh God, not going in there. That's not gonna work, that was deep and wet. Try another spot. Man, this walk looked a lot shorter from the air. <laughs> First cast, fly fishing. The cast alone makes this a success. No alligators, here we go. First cast would have been sweet. Man, I wish I could get closer. I don't know if I want to walk in this shit though. Don't want to fall in, that's for damn sure. Yeah, it seems a little bit shady. I can't tell where the ground is and when the lake is. Oh, there's something there. Something just jumped out of the water right in front of me. Alright, this looks a little better over here. So, I've flown over this lake a bunch of times and there are a ton of fish in here. It's evidently having trouble finding them. <sighs> Not looking good. Wouldn't it be funny if I caught something on that cast? Yeah, maybe I'm using the wrong tackle. I don't know. Kind of surprising with a lake like this secluded, a pond this secluded, that usually you expect to get decent fishing. Oh, something over here. Good cast. Oh, there he is. There he is. F yeah. <laughs> Fly fishing. Dude. <laughs> Dude, I just caught a freaking bluegill on a number four maps. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. <laughs> it's not a total bust. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. Okay, good. Now, if nothing else, I didn't fail. I flew somewhere with my paramotor, brought my fishing pole, and I caught a fish. Shadow, take that. Now, if I go back and my paramotor is still there, ultimate success. I guess it's tough to get home so I shouldn't be counting my chickens but how cool is that you guys? I'd like a bass though. I'd really like a big bass. Bluegill hit soft. That was a soft little hit. Also I saw that one. I saw I saw the swirl and I cast right past it and he hit it. So that's super satisfying but oh I'm so happy. Man when I was growing up Oh, and I'd go fishing with my dad. We used to go on fishing trips all the time. And um, he'd always talk about the window. He's like, yeah, we're going to miss the window, boys. we got to get out there. We're going to miss the window. And, like bright early morning or like in the evening as the sun's going down like right now. He said, we're going to miss the window. And I would always think, oh, shoot, there's someone looking at my paramotor. Uh-oh. And I would always think like, I was thinking like an actual window, like somebody was opening a window and letting fish into the lake. You know, I was a little kid, so I didn't know. But we're right in that window now. All right, let's go see what this guy has to say. Maybe he doesn't want me back here. I'll say, I'm sorry, bud. I'll just try to get some fishing and I'll leave. Fishing might be over, boys. Maybe he's just interested. 
Maybe I should just go into it thinking that all the time. This guy just likes paramotors. He's just curious. I'll go talk to him. Make sure he's cool. How are you? I'm good. Somerville. What, what my exact address? Did you live in Cane Bay? No. You're trespassing. Okay. I did not know that. Yes, sir. This is all private property. Okay. Oh, I, I'm, I did not know it was private property. I apologize. So this is private. Yeah, I'm sorry. I did not know that. I figured it was actually public, but no, yeah. It's actually a man-made lake for the subdivision. Okay. Um, I handle the security. And oh, sure. So forth, and that's, that's, I got a phone call and text messages and videos of you flying in and people concerned. And Today? Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> and I said, well, I don't know. But Have you gotten calls before me flying around here? Because uh, usually I come back here and I just fly around the lake. Right. and um, but, but I usually, you know, I try not to hang around too too long. Right. Um, today I purposely came in, tried not to disturb anybody, and landed and just went fishing. But um, yeah. that's why I was asking. I was surprised if it was all today. And even the residents, there, there are certain segments of the neighborhood mm -hmm. that are not allowed to fish back here. Okay. Oh. And nobody oh, geez. to fish this end of the lake. Oh, okay. Or the it's nice back here, man. It's gorgeous. It is. All man-made. Yeah. Yeah. This is like, this is called the paramotor if you didn't know, but oh, the, yeah. um, I mean, it's like a dream area for paramotors because it's away from people, it's beautiful, and then there's like open okay. grass where you can land. Flat, flat yeah. You. I mean, all South Carolina is trees you know i don't know if you fly at all but it's it's i mean it's trees so we got it i mean i actually took off out of berkeley county airport because we have to take off out of airports out here because there's just nowhere to go right. you get literally kicked out of everywhere because mm -hmm. um, everything's either owned or, or trees but that's all right yeah i mean i won't do this again i'll i'll, I'll leave i'll take yeah, off and get out of here I, 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 didn't know all the wildlife while i was on the way i said hey you ever you ever charged anybody trespassing the fish that flew in <laughs> he's I said I'm gonna go check the guy out if he's cooperative we're cool but you know yeah some some people that come in they'll drive in and yeah get back here and give me a, a real hard no time. oh yeah I absolutely would not do that yeah I didn't know but yeah I'll go ahead and get out of here and won't give you guys any more problems cool. all right yeah well yeah I'll take off a few minutes here I'll be at Chuck I'm Tom, Tom it's good to meet, nice you. to meet you appreciate you Sorry, being cool as well man no no, man, you got to enforce the rules. I get that. Um, but I appreciate you not finding me and understanding. Yeah, I usually try not to frequent the same area multiple times. I've been there uh, this week and uh, two weeks ago because it's all weather dependent, right? I have to fly into the wind. And so I always pick my destination. I'm, well, what's into the wind? And the past few times it's been this. So, um, yeah, I always, it's always good to hear no one's complaining. But I, I try to space it out, you know what I mean, and stay away from, from people. It's also boring to fly up really high. So. <laughs> Well, all right, man. All right. Um, well, listen. Yeah. I'm going to watch you take off, and I'll... Sure. I'm headed that way, so you'll That's be cool. right downwind to me if you... All right, well, yeah. I'll, are you going to... Yeah, I'm going to back up a little bit, give uh, myself a little well, room for will, air. Uh, I'll get out of your way so that you can... Okay, what's your name? Chuck? Chuck. All right, thanks a lot, Chuck. Just like the shoes. <laughs> that, appreciate you being cool, bud. All right, man. Take care. Well, that went about as good as it could. Yeah, not allowed to come back here, but that's what you want, like... That guy was cool. You know, I didn't know I wasn't allowed back here. He believed me, didn't find me, just asked me not to come back. And that's cool with me. I'm happy to follow the rules. So I'm gonna take off and it's uh, beautiful. So I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of the weather. got traffic in the pattern here. I wish you guys could hear the radio transmissions. I think that would be pretty cool for the videos. Uh, Brickley County, we're to the south of runway five. We've got you in sight. We're not gonna go anywhere near the pattern, uh, Brickley County. You too. 
he just said paraglider in sight, Berkeley County. So he's got me in sight. So now I feel really good, really happy. <laughs> yeah, making sure I'm legal, not over any houses. It's a good day, man. A real good day. Cool. Front row seat for this guy's landing. So we've got traffic landing on five and also looks like a little Cessna taxiing on the ground to runway five too. So I'm good with tonight. I'm just gonna land, let these guys fly around. I don't wanna clog up the airspace. And Berkeley County traffic, ultralight pair motor at about a thousand feet. Uh, we'll be crossing midfield and then spiraling down for a landing in the field next to the ramp in Berkeley County. Cool, man, this guy's cool. He basically just said, Roger, we'll keep you in sight. Mike Alpha. <laughs> oh, I love aviation, you guys. I really love it. I love flying airplanes when I get a chance to. I love flying my paramotor. I love talking over the aviation radio, as nerdy as that sounds. It's just so satisfying. If you guys ever get a chance and you have somebody who's got a plane or some way to share aviation with you, go. Get in a plane. Get up or help, whatever you can and go for a flight. The process, the there's just a whole world that you're unaware of if you've never done it. At Berkeley County traffic, ultralight powered paraglider, we are crossing the runway now and uh, we'll be coming in for a landing in that field next to the ramp, Berkeley County. And there's my Cessna buddy. <laughs> so cool. So cool, man. Very happy. Whoo, slippery. County traffic, ultralight power paraglider on the ground. Last call, Berkeley County. I say that that couldn't have gone any better and it almost couldn't have I guess if I wouldn't have gotten kicked out it's a little better but I'm, I'm I'm happy with how today went man fly fishing did it took my fishing pole with me went fishing caught a fish um, and really as far as getting kicked out of places goes that's about that's about as good as it can go um, the guy was actually really cool he uh, straight up told me that he was coming over there um, and he was gonna find me if I was not cooperative but um, I was and he ended up being cool. He stuck around to watch me launch, and um, he had a nice flight back. There's a lot of activity here at the airport, which I like as well. So, um, awesome night. If you guys like that one, don't forget to click the like button. Uh, follow me on Instagram if you want, and subscribe if you like. That's about it for this one. I think we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.